common cranes. One of the highlights of coming to Extremadura in the winter, they start arriving in mid-October and the numbers slowly build up to a peak from late November right through to the middle of February. And at that time, during the heart of winter, Extremadura holds more wintering common cranes than anywhere else in Europe probably around about 140,000 of them. Extremadura actually is the top place in the Iberian Peninsula in terms of species, richness, diversity and the sheer abundance of birds. On these rice stubble fields, as well as the throngs of cranes, we can find blue throats in the ditches, there'll be harriers feeding over the stubble in the evening, large numbers of waders, and huge flocks of Spanish sparrows. This would be a wonderful day just in its own right on a holiday in Extremadura in the winter, but you add to that the experiences of being out on the plains and watching great bustards and little bustards, golden eagles, the experience of going to the Monfragüe National Park on a sunny day and watching the displaying imperial eagles. There's so much to see. And for me, as someone who's lived here for the last 15 years, winter represents the most exciting and spectacular birding of all. As well as the common cranes, another attraction in the winter is being out on these vast plains watching great bustards, little bustards, sand grouse and all of the time being embraced by the sound of larks. Also on a fine sunny day, being in the Monfragüe National Park and watching the display flights of the Spanish Imperial Eagle. Winter for me is one of the most exciting and spectacular times of the year for birding in Extremadura. <laughs>